Oh yeah. Titties a day. Titties a day. I see them titties in the club. Yeah. Uh, uh. Fat titty, come on. Yeah. Sucking on them tits again, yeah. Sucking on them titties now, now. Sucking on them titties, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sucking them titties on the low. Oh. Sucking them titties every day, oh my god. Sucking them titties every night, oh my god. I don't need them titties like, yeah, yeah. I just need them titties right now, oh my god. Right now, right now, yeah. Sucking them titties again, sucking them titties so raw. Loving them titties the best, best titties I saw. Oh, I love them titties more than I've ever loved. Set of tits in my life, yeah. Life, 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 oh, them titties life, looking life, good, super bright, yeah. yeah. I just need them titties every day and every night, yeah. Sucking on them titties, yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Titties looking good in the club, bitch. Titties looking good in the club, bitch. Titties looking good when I seen that for real. Need them titties on my dick, yo. Titties looking good, tit butter in the club. I just need them fucking titties, yeah. You bitches know what's up. I'ma slap on your butt, then you gon' suck these nuts. Then we gon' make some love in this back of the truck. We be doing our thing, face down, ass up. I be sucking them titties from the back, like what, like what? Sucking them titties from the back, like what? Sucking them titties from the back. Bye. Sucking them titties again. Sucking them titties again. Oh, yes. oh, we up in this club. Sucking your bitch and your sucking friends. Sucking tits. Bitch, you know I'm fucking everything for sure. Fuck me. Sucking them titties if I need them, though. Need them Blew up off a hit. Sucking tits, yeah. I don't really give a fuck. So I did, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I say I do it again. I did it one time for y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. yeah. Bitch, you talk. Watch your mouth, cause I'm here now. I'm here, bitch. bitch talk it. Let my dick in your mouth. Yeah. In your mouth yeah. I ain't scared what you said. Yeah, I'm out, yeah. I'm out. I don't give a fuck. I'm about you. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing that shit in the street. Hitting them hoes with a yeah. yeah. Bitch, you be talking again. Yeah. Hitting the hoes with a nah. Bitch, be talking and damn. damn. Bitch, you ain't doing like that. Couple of the dudes. And a couple of them. What you said end up dead now. Watch you know what you said now. Everybody understand now. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. Fuck. What's up, Lop Tacos? Welcome back to the Lopriori Podcast. I am your host, Daniel Lopriori, joined by my co-host, Mike Lopriori. Yeah. And I just want to say what up, everybody. Uh, yeah. How much ice is on your neck today, y'all? I have, I have none because I got a horrible sunburn. Yeah, you look great, though. You look like a fucking yeah, but, meat. You look like a meat house. Thanks, Doug. Look at this. You ready? Yeah. We see that. Oh yeah, I see those prints afterwards. Damn, that shit was like, do it again. That shit was like, uh, she was like, hello. Then it's like, and it's like, then it's like, uh, see you later. Yeah, that shit is all <laughs> fucked up. But yeah, I went to Florida this weekend. I got a horrible sunburn. Fuck yeah. Um, How I, many moms does it take to break the ice? <sighs> Same amount it takes to ride my dick. Yeah, you know, you know, speaking speaking of moms, did you see that uh, the Jets quarterback? Zach Wilson, he uh, what? the <laughs> <laughs> I got ice in my fucking knit and it went right in my pit. <laughs> really? Oh, wh- where is it? I just threw ice at the wall. That's what that was. Oh, and it, went, it went back into your shirt. Yeah, I broke the the ice literally. Oh, that's, that's dope. Uh, yeah, no, but the Jets quarterback Zach Wilson like f- fucked his best friend's mom. Oh fuck! Oh, I, oh, I saw that. I yeah, saw fucking yeah. uh, KFC talking about that. Yeah, he fucked um, his, he fucked his best friend's mom and like his girlfriend found out about it and then dumped him and then now she's dating the best friend. 
Yeah, but like, does she really, really like the best friend like that, or is she doing it for revenge? See, this is where I get confused with it, right? Is it revenge, or is she really into the guy? Because if she's really into the guy, that's kind of snaky, too. I mean, it's still, su- it's, it's still, you're not doing any better. You're, t- you're going on, you're going online talking about how that guy fucks his uh, mom's friend and that guy's a scumbag. But like, why, why go, why do people have to, why, I mean, why do you got to go down to the same level? Just go out there and find a new dude and then just move on. Why do you got to fuck the dude's friend? See, it's kind of like, weird. I don't want to, I don't want to. He's not worse on. or anything. That guy's a dick, but still like, why are you going down to that level? Why are you being a fucking scum lord yourself? I know, but imagine if one of you, like, imagine if your girlfriend fuck dad Would yeah i guess start- i'd be so mad I'd be like, let's get him back yeah you know like let's get him back but i don't think you ever recover from that Someone no she's gonna shit you. on that you know what's gonna happen she's gonna shit on that guy next i'm calling it yeah for sure you yeah, gonna break that guy's heart if someone thrashes your mom there's no coming back from that i don't care you know, how many friends you sleep with you know it'd be hilarious if the new guy that she's with the best friend started fucking his dad's best friend who was a guy yeah and then like he, and he, he was would, gay he and he started would, fucking dads. Yeah, yeah and then she gay for it. Yeah, and then she was like, just by herself. Yeah, it's like you <laughs> fucked my mom, I'm gonna fuck your dad. That that's the only way to win. No, if if her new boyfriend started fucking dads. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought you meant I thought you meant that the best friend should fuck no, no. Matt Wilson's dad. No, no, I meant if if her new guy, the best friend, starts fucking his dad's best friends who are got dudes. it, got it, got it. See, <laughs> and then she's by herself. <laughs> see where my head was at, right? If some I said there, there's no going back from someone like thrashing your mom, the right. only way to get back to them is to thrash their dad. That would be amazing. That's a that's, fire too. Yeah, that's a that's fire a, move. That's a huge power move. Uh, yeah, I would do. I would do weird. I, look, look, like in my head, I'm like, that's played out. The revenge shit is played out. Also, like revenge, getting revenge ass is like it's it's corny. That shit is lame. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Like I would do some weird shit. I would have got really somehow seen if the uh, friend's mom, the mom's friend that he was banging, was uh, into chicks and started fucking her. And then like when he came home and saw them scissoring, mm, you know? Yeah, make them scissor, and you just in the in like in the corner sipping cognac. Yeah. That'd I'm be like, dope. Yeah, just fucking scissor fasting. Have you ever got revenge cheeks? No. Um, I mean, when I was younger, I dated one of my one of my good friend, my best friend's like sister. But at that time, I, I mean, we were like friends. We definitely were friends, but I was in high school. I was like, I was, you know, you know me in high school. I was scummy. I was banging everyone's girlfriend. You're goddamn right, you were. <laughs> no, I wasn't, I was I wasn't Bastard. I wasn't like Honestly, I liked everybody that I was with. I wasn't you trying to be so like a scum. horny as a kid, dude. You were horny. I was up. horned up. That's why that's why you you've always been with like, you know, you've been with like like you're not like a you don't have like the hugest you know, like body count. Like you're no, a good guy. I'm a piece dude, of shit. I'm day, cl- I'm day class A. Yeah, I'm a just uh I'm a big fucking uh I'm a uh I'm a piece of shit. I mean, I wouldn't say you're a piece of shit. I think you're sexually permissive maybe at one point in your life, but I think that's normal, especially nowadays. Back then they might have scoffed at you. Yeah, you know what they call an overly sexual person in Australia? What? A fucking root rat. That's what they call it? Yeah, I'm a root rat. That's what you're I am. A root rat, mate. You're a fucking uh, classic DL root rat. All right, you're a classic root rat, Mike. All right. You coming on here and your budgie smuggles acting like a fucking root rat, mate. Look at you in your vest there. All right. Looking like a root rat, yeah. All right. Come in, you come in here, you act like a fucking root rat. <laughs> Remember that kid that, that I think he was Australian and he threw like a party on the block. Yeah, and he's like, Well, I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for it either. Yeah, they were like, Aren't you gonna say sorry? He goes, No, I'm not actually. <laughs> like, do you have any advice? He's like, Do you have any advice for like kids out there that are watching this? He's like, Yeah, call me. He's like, Can I have parties for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, Call me if you need parties on for you. <laughs> yeah, call me if you need a party. Why don't you take off your glass? Also, fuck that bitch. He's like, take off your glasses and apologize to everybody. Shut the fuck up, you weirdo. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that bitch was thinking. If you guys want to find this video, just look up Australian party guy interview. He threw like a Project X party and like the entire like block got destroyed. Yeah, she was like talking to him like his mom. It was so weird. And then he just holds it down. She's like, you're not going to apologize? He goes, no, I'm not. I'm not really <laughs> sorry about it. I, I said I said I was Said I'll saw like I'm not really sorry about anything, honestly. Like <laughs> whatever he says, it's just bad funny. Yeah, call me in the after parties. And he's like dressed yeah, like this. Night. Oh yeah. Right. yeah, he's dressed just like that. Yeah, um, just like damn, dude. I didn't know that a root rat. So yeah, you're kind of a root rat, mate. 
Yeah, and fucking budgie smugglers. And a budgie smuggler. Those are speedos. What, what, that, that's those are speedos. Oh, a budgie. I yeah. had a budgie, but it died. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, in a, oh. you know, ACDC, the band is from Australia, but they don't call them ACDC there. Really? Yeah, they call them Akadakas. No, they don't. Yeah, they do, and they call them McDonald's Maccas. Yeah, how did I not know that ACDC is from Australia? Yeah, they're from Australia. Yeah. See, I get so confused with all these people. They sing in like American accents. I know, because they come out and they're like, "I'm not telling you." And you're like, oh, "Fuck, yeah, I, I can't tell what that is." Screaming, like I guess, like you're, you, it, 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 somebody be like, "Here well, but, you st- I, I, but it's way, yeah, it's way funnier you're if you. Yeah, you come out here, you bunch of smugglers! Like just fucking screaming like that. Gonna go see the Akadaka show. Gonna go see Akadaka. Gonna go uh, uh, be like one Australian person. Yeah, we don't call them that, mate. (laughs) Call them I say they say just like the rest of these. Yeah, well, like yeah, we just say we call them Akadakas. Akadakas, mate. And then when they're surprised, they say, "Oh, fuck me dead." Fuck Fuck me dead. Yeah, fuck me dead, mate. Fuck me dead, mate. Well, how do you know all this Australian lingo? Did you, are, it was on a here? Conan O'Brien episode. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know what I love when Conan O'Brien used to play video games? Yeah, he played uh, with that guy Aaron or something, I think. Yeah, and he, he was just, like shit on him. Yeah, because he doesn't like he doesn't play him at all. So it's God, just funny. My sunburn is so bad, dude. It hurts so much, Daddy. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. So I went to Florida. Sat Shoulder, out shoulders like are the worst. Minutes. Yeah, I know, but it'll turn into like the ill tan. It will. You'll get brown. Yeah. It'll turn into the ill tan and like my face is kind of tan, but I wish I had these shades down Man, you there. Got, you, got these, shades. you got these things. They look like a fucking mountain in the back. Oh, yeah. But my traps. Yeah, you got those traps. My traps have always been popping, daddy. You know, that's the one good thing that I have on my body are my yeah. traps. Yeah, you got more traps than the hood. More traps. Has, more traps than a trap house, dog. I'm just that's all I do. Like, I'll go to the gym and be like, yeah, I'm going to like run today. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just going to do shrugs. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna try and get my fucking shoulders jacked. Yeah, you awful. got you got more traps than an Indiana Jones movie. Hell yeah, <laughs> Mr. Jones. What was that kid's name? I forgot the actor's name, but he was Data in uh in um he was Data in uh Goonies, Goonies which is my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, He's Goonies like, is up there, dude. So in Florida, I got the sunburn. It's all good, but I went down there. For, uh, Selena's one of Selena's best friends had a birthday party, and it was 2000s themed. Yeah, that looks so fun. Yeah, you look great. It was mad fun. Yeah, I had a Kobe Bryant, um, uh, McDonald's All American jersey. Oh yeah, um, that's fucking awesome. That's, yeah, before, so, that's what they do before what, uh, the draft, right? Yeah, or, yeah. Isn't so, that when they're in? Isn't that no? Isn't that when you're in high school? That's this like the summer, like uh, the game after like your senior year of basketball. They have like the All American game sports. Yeah, McDonald's sports. sports, 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 sports talk with the boys. Well, jerseys are kind of fire though. Now, in hindsight, yeah, dude, that jersey cost me nineteen dollars on Amazon, and it's fresh as fuck. Oh, it's fries. Like- yeah, jerseys are mad cheap on Amazon. It's about to be Amazon Prime Day too, so I'm gonna fucking so hard, dude. I'm gonna go so hard on Prime Day. I'm not but, gonna apologize uh, for it. I'm not gonna apologize for it. I'm gonna go hard on Prime. So, uh, so how was it? I saw you uh, spitting bars. It looked mad fun. Hell yeah, it was fire, dude. I was like, yo, like you, you want to know what it is? It's when you go to a party like that, you don't realize you have to kind of walk to the party. <clears throat> yeah, that's so true. I, so I had to walk two blocks, like dressed like a fucking asshole, God and people damn. were like, yeah, people were like staring <laughs> at me and shit, and I was just like, yo, what's up, shouty? Like, I just kept, like, going with it. Like, fuck it. Like, I'm going to do this. It was in Florida, right, you said? Yeah, it was in Florida. It was in oh, Florida damn. Now. I feel like Florida... I don't know, man. I feel like people in Florida wouldn't really give a shit. They wouldn't, but, like, when I had to walk... So, it was it was in a private room of a restaurant, right? Yeah. So, I, I walked all the way from uh, where we were staying and into the restaurant, and I had to walk through the restaurant where everyone was, like, dressed up eating, and I was dressed like fucking Nelly. Damn, that's so fucking funny. And, like people dude. were like looking at me and giggling, but I was hiding like I was like someone famous. Yeah, so, like I like put my hand down and like yeah. they, they escorted me to the other room. So like people were like, "What the fuck is going on?" So we I had mean, this fucking fire ass two thousands birthday party. Um, there was a whole bunch of outfits. Selena was in like her juicy couture, like two thousand shit. Booty on some like J Lo shit, probably. Yeah, no, there was there was one girl dressed as J Lo from like the I'm Real video. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. We had we had some other Nellies. 
Um, we had a Justin and Brittany Jean denim suit. This is, this is we're talking like 106 and Park era, right? Yeah, we're, we're like when I heard when I hear 2000s party, I think like 2003 all the way. Fucking AJ was on there, uh, v, like a uh, VJ. What are, what are they going to uh, host? Yeah. Yeah. Video jockeys, AJ and Free. Yeah, and Free. Oh, man. Free, free, free was bad. Free, yeah. free was bad back in the day. AJ like, looked like a fucking dinosaur, though. A little bit, right? Didn't he look like a dinosaur? Yeah, he? And he had fucking long ass dreads. And yeah, they were fake. He had like a yellow, uh, a yellow fro. Yeah, but Front his bro. dreads were fake. I think I saw something online where he, unless he was like doing something for a video and, and people were just saying that that's what he used to do. But I feel like a lot of dudes use hair extensions. Yeah, no, for sure. I, a lot of like, like I, I do you think Fat Joe paints his uh, beard? In? It looks like he paints it in. Yeah, he has to paint his beard. Nobody's beard looks like that. I never understood this like real fucking Puerto Rican Dominican fucking thing, uh, thing where they box their their shit like the, their chin just looks like a fucking roll like a minecraft head yeah or it looks like a fucking like a like a like one of those like cross bridges that like uh fucking ichabod crane cross yeah it looks like a decrepit old bridge but it's yeah. super straight and like well constructed <laughs> yeah. like the shape of like a barn house yeah it's like fucking david ortiz and every shit. Everybody, I put it on my instagram i remember back in the day look at fat joe's though it looks like a fucking barn house like if you put like like a chimney on it or like drew like the, the red and white doors. It looks like a barn house. It's so you're so right. It's like, it's like a perfect little like like the, these go down and then you have the sides and then you have the underneath part. Yeah, it's the like foundation of it. The thing is, is, he probably pays hundreds of dollars for that. Thousands, probably. Who knows? Yeah, probably. Probably gets a haircut like every other day. Right. I, imagine I, having I, fu- I imagine having fucking day. what? I want to get rich one day where I could just get a haircut every day. Imagine having fuck it money. Oh my God, dude. And I would be so good with, at fuck it money, dude, because I would really fuck it. I would really fuck it up. <laughs> I would fucking have so much dumb. I would have so dude, much dumb. Exotic yeah. animals. I'd have exotic children. Like, I would just do wild shit. You know what I mean? And then I would just be like, hey, like, these are my kids. Like, don't touch my kids. Like, just like how Brad and Angelina were like, yeah, to go to all these different countries and adopt kids. Like I would probably do that. What's that thing that Ill- construction like, guys use? Them. I would have like five jackhammers for no reason. Yeah, I would have five. Like, and then I would have like one of those like self flying like helicopters that are coming out. Have you seen those? Yeah, uh, they're, yeah, they're, I think they're so, like yeah. single man pod elevate like uh helicopters, and I would have those for like everyone though, and we would just play like Quidditch with them and shit. Yeah, that'd be so, yeah, yeah. Just you got to start doing like dumb rich shit, shit that's just so rich and dumb it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like you're just doing it anyway. Like buy, like I would buy like my own island and like give it to my kid like on his thirteenth birthday. Like dumb shit. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Like tr- like fund all the research to like bring the woolly mammoth back. Like I would do that. Yeah, but only I would just could, only if I could keep one and then like yeah. shoot the other one in the space. I would just buy a person and make them act like a woolly mammoth. All day. Yeah, that too. That too. I uh, yeah, I would see how far, laugh at them. No, because that's why it's like when you make so much money, right? Yeah, you kind of have to see how far can I take this? How far will people let me take this money? Oh my god! Yeah, I would make a fucking. I make my door look like an aquarium or something. It's like a fishbowl. I would. I would make my whole house an aquarium. Yeah, I just make my whole. And like when you walk on the floor, you just see like fishes. Every fish. Every is it fishes? It's fish. You see fish everywhere. Yeah. And then I would buy a whole bunch of meese, moose, meeses. And we get and then get some geese in there. I'd buy so much meese and just get have them walking around town. There. Get mad yeah. geese. And like I would have mad, like ill animals. Or I like I would reconstruct like Noah's Ark and shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Like have like wild, like, you know, like sex parties that I just watch. Like I walk around and like Hugh Hefner and I just let everyone like have sex on there. Dude, I would I'd that's sick. I'd get like a fucking, I'd get like a fucking huge McDonald's ball pit, but only I can go in it. So I don't have to smell other fucking kids' feet. Oh, yeah. From, from like the hood in the suburbs mixed together. Hell yeah. But I would, I, I would have the balls full of cocaine. Yeah. So like, you, so like you could open them and like do cocaine when you jump into it. Yeah, it's just just crack, like, so you just crack, just crack it open, crack it open and just blow whatever you want from it. Yeah. You just also, crack it the fuck open. And I would train like small animals, like maybe like small monkeys to like, help people do bumps yeah that'd be sick right like imagine if a off monkey, their off their 
Yeah, it just goes like this with its toe. It's like <laughs> it's a line up to your nose. You just take a bump off yo, the that monkey's be, foot. Don't. Imagine, you know, you leave a party. It's like, yo, I just did cocaine off a monkey's foot. foot. This guy, Danny, is the fucking man. <laughs> I'm coming because, back here. Because I don't party, so I would have to live vicariously through other people. Like, I would love to train a monkey yeah. for, like, you to do a line off of it. Like, I would I mean? get a monkey and then train it to fucking sing like Akadaka. Like, yeah! <laughs> ACDC? AC Monkeys? AC Monkeys, dude. AC Monkey? Dude, imagine yeah, doing a bump off a monkey's foot. And it's just like, nye, nye. oh, that'd be so fucking dope. And they every time it, you do too. it, it gets excited and claps. And yeah, it claps. Or like, I would start like a like a like a like a little monkey UFC. Oh, that'd be fucking sick. You know, like until like the government came and like shut me down and arrested me. Like that's what I would go down for for, for my monkey UFC fights. Yeah, but like it's it's not like too it's not like dog fighting. Like they actually have gloves and they're trained and stuff. Yeah, no, like they go through like eight week training camps and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, and just then beat we the shit do, out of each other. Yeah, we do like a like a twenty four seven access with them, and they do interviews and shit. And we talk to their trainers. Fuck, that would be so dope, dude. I'm telling you, I would be so good with fucking money, dude. I would literally just get so rich. I would just make people wear clothes for me. And stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that would be dope. That would be dope. Yeah, it's like, like, like yeah. I want to see what that looks like first on a yeah. fucking someone who's my size. I would get like somebody who looks like me, basically. I think I would clone myself too. Yeah, I'd clone myself so that he could take over after I die. Yeah, I would clone myself and like freeze him like Ted Williams. You know, Ted Williams, the baseball player, his head is frozen. It is? Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, yeah him and his like two sons that died, all of their heads are frozen just in case like if they can come back. The son, wait, what the hell? Did he kill them and then do that? Or do they like fucking no, want to do like, that too? I, Ted Williams died and then like his son said that he wanted to be like frozen and then they just like desecrated his body and cut his head off and froze like a it. Fucking episode of Futurama. Yeah, that's that's why like he's in it. That's why Isn't, his head's there. Is he uh he did he play for Boston? Yeah, yeah, he's a Red Sox legend. And then like, yeah, this oh, is how crazy it is. Too. I hope somebody like, melts his fucking head then. Yeah, but, <laughs> much, <laughs> no, just yeah, we just split a set with the fucking Red Sox. But like, that's oh, that's thing. what we could do. We could get rich that we buy his head and just melt it in front. Yeah, and like, yeah. we melt it, melt it in Bronx, front of the fucking in front of the field. Yeah, just like like a uh, like opening days. We just fucking yeah. we. Th I throw it to throw you, and you head. Fucking hit it, and then it hits the fucking green monster. Yeah, <laughs> we just throw his head to like Aaron Judge. You see Ted Williams, Williams head Williams bounce head. off the green monster. <laughs> That would be so dope. Yeah, that's the type of money I would do, dude. And then, like, I would try to buy like <laughs> that's one the kind of money I would do. Dude, that's brother. the type of money I would do, brother. And then I would, the other thing I would do is I would try to buy like one single state. Fuck yeah, dude. Like, yeah, like I want to buy Wyoming or like I want to buy Idaho because you can't buy New York, you can't buy California and shit. Like, they're nah, not nah, nah, nah. nah. So I was like, yo, I have all this money. I just want to own Idaho. Fuck yeah. And just literally have the entire state of Idaho just like be my house and finally be pop. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. And then it would honestly, if you live there and it was just you, it'd probably be a better state. Uh, uh, yeah. And then I would get one of those population signs. that just says one. Yeah. And then it's just like a picture of me, like with that monkey, like putting a line up to my nose. Just change the name of Idaho to Danny Ho. Yeah. Just be like Dana Ho. Yeah. Danny Ho. Little, little Prioriville. I mean, just be like, yeah, I can only just change it because nobody wants Idaho anyway. No, nah, no one gives a shit about it. No, so that's why if I that's like a realistic state. Like it's beautiful had, there. Yeah, they got, they got potatoes. I've never been there. What's the capital of Idaho? Des Moines. I don't There's know. Iowa. What's is the capital? Let's see. What's the capital of Idaho? Cheyenne. I don't know. Let's see what series is. It's Boise. God, they're going to rip us. Into oh, asshole. yeah. We're going to get fucked for that one. Whatever, it's Boise. Brother. I know. We know Boise. Also. I know Boise. Boise State, dog. Yeah. Don't something weirdos go to Boise State, though, or something like that? I think so. Isn't it like just Mormons or some shit? No, that's BYU where that guy's oh, like, yeah, where that guy Zach B Wilson from the Jets. He went yeah, to BYU. Yeah, that's all Mormons and something stuff, right? going on. This guy's fucked plenty of people's moms. They don't even cheer there. They just go, ah. Like do if, weird I, shit. if I had a bunch of money though too like I would buy a professional sports team but like change all the names and like all the stuff and like suck on purpose dude do you know in like Mormon places like Salt Lake City there's like baby cemeteries and shit ew really yeah cause there's like 
I don't know if it's still a thing, but apparently there was like mad baby abuse from like Mormons and or or something like that. So they just made a baby cemetery. Yeah, I don't know why I can't forget. I, well, I can't forget that because it's traumatizing to hear about. But there's like baby cemeteries in like Salt Lake City or something, in like Utah. God damn, dude. Yeah, something That's like that. Fucking wild. Isn't that fucking weird? Mormons dude. scare the shit out of me, dude. Yeah, Utah, weird place. Scared of that place. If I had, if I was rich as fuck, I would just get rid of all the Mormons. <laughs> I went back to the rich thing. But it's like Danny, uh, you just won ten billion dollars. What are you gonna do? I'm just, I'm just gonna try and eradicate Mormons. To be honest, Honest, with you. honestly, I feel like there are probably cool Mormons. Obviously, I'm joking. I'm yeah, sure there's like sure. one. There's, there's probably bought... some chill Mormons, but they still scare me because of all the things that you hear. But what you if know? we bought? What if we bought them an island called it M- More Island? Mormonia. Mormonia. I think they would do it. I think they would go there. More money, more problems. What was that? Th- well, remember that show, Big Love? Mo Dude, Money, More Problems. That was a good should, one. There should be a show Mo about Mo Mo rich money, Mormons, problems. and it's just called More Money, More pro- More Money, More it, Problems. The, yeah, that's what it should be. It could be like the Kardashian version of Mormons. Yes. That would be a great idea, dude. Maybe that's what makes us all this money. Like, Pastor Richard slapped me today. I don't know why he did that. I, honestly, I, I don't know anything about them. Like, uh, are they, is it completely different from Christianity? I don't know anything about Mormons, honestly. No, they love I'm, I'm being, God I'm being, shit. I'm being ignorant here. So. No, they, they love God. They fuck with God, hard body karate. It's, uh, oh. they just believe that like John Smith is the prophet. Right. Because he found these fucking. John Smith. He found, he found, he John found Smith? these plates. He found these plates. Oh, like. And that uh, they claim that like Jesus Christ like actually lived in America and not like Nazareth. Are you talking about like Pocahontas, John Smith? Yeah, pretty much. Dude, they made John Smith look hot as fuck in that movie. I bet he's ugly as shit in real life. I heard apparently he was kind of hot, actually. Damn, was he? Yeah, because he apparently he was hot. But when people are like historical figures, like you know, they made Jesus kind of hot too. Like Jesus is so fucking muscly and toned. Jesus is always sexy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you know, he has a fucking eight pack and shit. Like they made Jesus hot. Like I'm sure Jesus was like five three and looked kind of weird. Yeah, he like you definitely. Like, <laughs> when you see Jesus on the cross, I'm like, oh, this guy's at least six one, 180 pounds, but it's like fucking shredded wheat. You know what I mean? Oh like, my god, G- G- the people weren't that tall back then, so Jesus was probably like five foot three and like a little chubby, probably. I would just get so rich that I would create a device that can communicate with Jesus eventually. Yeah, see, that's the one thing I hope that we get to do. Like alien point. satellites, but for G- like a Jesus satellite. That you could like actually talk to Jesus or go yeah. and hang out with Jesus. I would just put all my money into like a new NASA. Uh, called JASA. Yeah, just call it like, uh, what, what, is, what does NASA stand for? National Associate Satellite Association? National Association of Space Athletics Ca- Academy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> National yeah. Athletic Sports Arena. Yeah. yeah. What is National it? Astronaut Astronomically s- sort of Astros not. Uh na- <laughs> <laughs> National National Area of Science. Uh never achieving <laughs> never achieving Serious attempts. Yeah, never actually achieving anything. Astronomy. Never actually saw a an anus. Never actually the second, saw the second A is killing us. Yeah, it is. Never, never actually, actually saw, saw the asteroid. An asteroid. That's never actually one. saw the moon. Never Relax. actually saw Armageddon. <laughs> Never actually saw Armageddon, dude. When he stays back on that goddamn asteroid, I'm like, yo, that's so dude, hot. It's so dumb, fucking though. Steven Tyler starts singing. And I could stay awake. You know, Steven yeah. Tyler's a he fucking weirdo. He fucking Steven Tyler uh, got the rights over a young girl so that he she could go on tour with them and then married her when she was like 15. Yeah, that sounds about right. I found out that Elvis married like a 14 year old girl. Yeah, what the. F- Fuck, were people like, just banging young f- toddlers back then? What the hell is going on with people? Uh, I love uh, it's so funny. You can have any woman up. you want. Why are you dating a 15 year old? You fucking sick freak, dude. That he met in Germany, 
Like he was in the, he was in the army. Who? Oh, Elvis. Yeah, dude. That's dude, the thing about Elvis. like entertainers and like other motherfuckers. Like they were in the army. Like we were talking about Ted Williams. Like this guy like hit four hundred and then like had to go fight in the war for four years and then came back and played baseball. Like, yeah, those, that's went, why like those. It's an Elvis was like uh. Duh. He, yeah, he just went over there. Was like, hey, I want to date your fourteen year old daughter. Uh, yeah. Step off a little kid shoes. That's why. And then he did that. And then he ended up marrying her. And then um, that's how he had uh, what's her face? L- Lisa Marie, the one that Michael Jackson married, Lisa Marie Pre- Presley. Yeah, that's yeah. who. That's who her mom is that young like gem and girl yeah jailhouse rock was actually fully titled jailhouse rockabye baby on the treetop yeah. <laughs> yeah the coolest thing about elvis though is that he got fat and then he died taking a poop yeah he just literally died taking a deuce and, and like they said he was just like staring straight forward during it or something like that yeah it's fucking wild man he um, was like he used to like love pills i want i recently watched his last he's concert got, he's in all honesty though like all jokes aside he does have like he has bad so many bangers yeah you know? dude and then like he like fucked with black music you know what i mean but then like people were like oh like he stole it but like yeah. you know so it was one of those or, like, like yeah situations. heavy heavily heavily influenced yeah like i saw bb king talking about it and he was like yeah like elvis was dope like he could sing his fucking ass off and shit like obviously like he was influenced by shit but like yeah. When did he die? Didn't he die in like the 70s? I think like 1977, I think. He did yeah, his last 70s show or 80s. six weeks before he died. Yeah. And there's a and new he's movie. So uh, fucking sweaty and like fat. Yeah. He looked really bad. I think because he was addicted to like pills. Pills. pills and like and there's stuff, a part yeah. where he's like doing a thing. He's like, he's literally talking to the microphone. He's like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Yeah, he was, he, was, he, was, he was fucked up a lot. Yeah, he was fucked fucking, up big time. Elvis got thrashed, but throw Elvis, you know, like he had Graceland and shit. You can go there and like they haven't touched anything. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, it's, it's, I would it's, go to Graceland. That's how, <laughs> dude, having oh, get so rich that you just have your own land, like your own like theme park land. That's another thing, bro. You have so much Michael, money, you just have Michael like, Jackson Elvis thing. Fucking low priori world. Yeah, what would you have there? What kind of rides? I would have like I would have rides for all ages because I would want people to be able to bring their kids. Now this is starting to sound weird, but like I don't mean it that way. Like Dude, I mean, I'd have us- Neverland and Graceland. There was some weird stuff going on, but like this would be very right. like parent friendly. Yeah. You know? Like I would want like kids to actually come over and be able to like enjoy it the real you way. Could, you could have kids. Guys you could have a kids park way. and then an adult park because that's not even a thing. Adult parks. I don't think that's a thing. No, I would. You have adult first. rides. Yeah, but like you can have like sex names. Yeah, but yeah, and like you're going down like like a water park. You're going down a fucking uh, a roller coaster, but then it's just huge tattoo uh, statues of fucking titties shooting milk at like in like an arc. Yeah, that'd be dope. And when you all the when you get to the bottom, you know, like Splash Mountain. Yeah, it's all milk. Yeah, or 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 just like squirt. Yeah, and at the bottom's like like, a chick just like squeezing her her nips. Yeah, squeezing her fucking hard ass nips, and then she shoots all this milk at you. Yeah, or it's like a uh, yes. call like a uh, like instead of like the slingshot, we'll call it like the cum shot, and then like a whole bunch of like white goo hits you at the end. Yeah, it's like fucking uh, that'd be dope, dude. Yeah, it's like Nickelodeon, but only for adults. Yeah, it's like a it's like a very adult version. Adult of Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, that's actually a really good. Idea. People like this, like covered in cum, <laughs> smiling, like fuck. Holding on like this, and, and it just says like I went, I went to, I went to Lopes Land or Lo Priori Land, <laughs> like above you. Yeah. Do you want to buy a picture? It's just you getting like titties, like uh, little, yeah, like splashing yeah. your face. When you're done the ride, you go see, yeah, you go see the pictures. There's just fucking goo hanging off your ears. <laughs> off your, and then, no, yeah, and then like instead of like uh, Shamu, it's like people have sex. You like go and watch people have sex, and then there's an actual splash zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where you yeah. have to wear like a raincoat for like jizz yeah. and stuff. And when you go, you know, you know, the scary tunnels when you're going in, it's just like you or me bent over and it's our butthole. (laughs) You just go inside the scary tunnel. It's our it's our anus cavities. And you just go in there. You just hear like a bunch of scary noises. Just you and me going, oh, (laughs) (laughs) like like one of the fucking animatronic things is that fucking gummy I ate. And he's just like screaming and he's on fire. (laughs) He's like, oh, I want to help. 
Dude, that song you were singing to uh your uh soon to be sister in law's uh daughter, right? Yeah, my niece with the, with the Minnie Mouse was so funny, dude. You Do you know, know where your parents' credit cards are? <laughs> How'd that start? How did you do how is that starting? Because she like came over to me, she's like, Denny, she's like Minnie, like gave me like Minnie Mouse. Yeah, so she's she adorable. Likes when, she likes when I talk as like Minnie Mouse or like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. So I didn't realize that it could dance. So it's just like it's so funny because like when you watch shows, when you yeah. watch these kids shows, it's like, can you point me to the to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Like, Very you, good. It's like, can you see the octopus? Yeah. And like, yeah. you know, like it make it makes them engaging. So I was like, I just want to like make this is Minnie Mouse a fucking scumbag. Yeah. So I was just like, do you know where your mom keeps her blank checks around? <laughs> so fucking funny. I love on the second one, I go, uh, I was like, do you know where mommy and daddy's credit cards are? Yeah, and then you just started like, I love to dance for credit cards. I love to dance and use other people's credit, credit cards. cards. <laughs> go to, go to the, uh, well, she okay. goes, well, awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. The, yeah, the first time she's dancing, she just goes, wow, awesome. And you're, and you're just and you're just like, take your parents' credit cards, go to the mall. I'm telling you, dude, it, f- there's nothing better than genuinely making a baby laugh and they have no idea what the fuck you're talking and they about they have no idea what you're doing dude they're, yeah, they're the best audit. out in the business you know they they pay attention for the most part and you don't even have to speak english yeah and they'll find you funny yeah i want to do stand up for all babies i want to do a yeah, baby just only yeah show. just babies just like come out you're just like and they're like oh <laughs> did the first stand up of just babies imagine just like heckling babies like, yeah because the like, baby's like ah and you're like shut the fuck up yeah right I, yo that would be that would be dope too that's also what i would do with my billions of dollars Dude, is i would yelling at open babies yeah i would open a stand-up comedy club where only babies can come yeah you yeah. know what i mean just be like you guys tried these new pacifiers yeah, like a baby just goes, oh, and you go, the funny thing is, and you're just like, shut your mouth. The funny thing is about your mouth is that <laughs> we have something in common. We both use our to suck your mom's tits. It's like, <laughs> All right, that's my time, guys. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. Don't drink and crawl. Uh, well, yeah, so with all that money, I would buy a, a stand-up comedy club, but only babies can come. Yeah, only and that babies. Fucking awesome. Call it a, like a rockabye babies yeah that'd be great and you just great, fucking yeah. do stand up you just do like an you just do like a like a 20 minute set of just screaming random sounds yeah just like goo goo gaga right <laughs> or doing the actual do like an actual set like just adult jokes they don't understand. it's like your mom ever just coming in your room and you're like da da you know what I'm saying? Just to piss yeah. them off. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Well, you're like, somebody's drunk in the audience. <laughs> this baby knows what I'm talking about. It's a two drink minimum, it's two bottle minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> exactly. One of them just crawls. One, one of them crawls away while you're doing it. You're like, oh, somebody doesn't like the material I'm doing. I'm just oh, like is that crawling, one a little crawling too much? away. Is that one a little too much, Stephanie? Yeah. Sorry. Your parents are here. Yeah, baby, a baby gets up and tries to cancel you for making like the wrong baby joke. Yeah, just like tweets out a baby. He's like, he made fun of interracial babies. <laughs> just like tweets it out. I, I, I would love to just do shit. I think that's just a great experiment either way, a social experiment to do a stand up set for babies. Yep. That'd be so dope. And you just come out and your mic is like in the shape of like a rattler. Yeah, right. It's like your mom ever like put you down for nap time? Like, fuck that bitch. I'm trying to stay up all night. <laughs> he's just like, ah! he's like, I hate naps. But I want like infant babies that like that are like doing like the weird shaky hands thing. Yeah. And like rocking. Yeah, like back scream because they're yeah, because they're super excited. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. scream. Yeah, baby scream, dude. You just come out like an asshole. You're like, what up, you toothless bastards? <laughs> Anybody got more than one tooth in here? What's up? You got a tooth? You fucking little idiot. God. What's the difference between... Look at, the head, on, look at the head on that thing. I feel bad for his mother's pussy. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> What's the difference between you guys and Naples, Florida? You guys have more teeth. Thanks for coming out, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, God. Really, the, the things would be endless. I wouldn't buy the right things. 
Yeah. Like I would buy my own Goodyear blimp and like post fake news on it, but just news about my life. It's like Danny takes a shit 9 30 PM. Yeah. That would be dope too. That would be sick. I would love that. That would be a lot of fun to have your own Goodyear blimp. And I would also run ads for fake companies. Yeah. Yeah. Like Danny's like anal bleaching. I always think about a blimp. Like, is it just like a big thing with a lot of space that's not even being used? And it's yeah. only like a little booth. And then it's like a fat ass. Yeah, it's just a booth. And then a dude like with a stick. Like, how hard is it to fly a fucking blimp? When I was younger, I was like, how many people are partying on that thing? Oh, that's another thing we should make. Party blimps, dog. Party blimps. Fucking party blimps, bro. God. Imagine you actually were able to have a like a, a blimp, right? Yes. That fits like 60 people. And you guys go up in this fucking party blimp and get fucking wasted on a blimp, dog. That'd be Dude, so just get fucking fucked fresh. up. Yeah, Yo, you know what's so weird to me? At one point, like the Wright brothers, when they were like creating planes, they had no idea where it was going to go. Uh, dude, I think about that every time I'm on a plane. I was on a plane today. Um, that's why we're not together because I just got back from Florida. So, um, dude, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I'm sitting on the plane and I'm like, yo, this shit has Wi-Fi on it and this yeah. shit has TVs yeah. and this amazing 40 ton fucking machine is just flying through the air. It's 600 miles an hour, right? Yeah, we went from two fucking psychotic brothers fucking crashing and every every time I think about them, I just think of videos of them like on a wing, like trying out their first fucking plane yeah, together. Like, and it's like sped up because like every film back then was like three times speed. It, yeah, it's just them and they're wearing really big saggy pants and like fucking and like leather goggles. Yeah, and like a like a vest jacket, like a vest and a three piece suit. And then some guys like, like to fly these yeah. sticks around. And the guy's like Abigail Ride trying his first flight ever. <laughs> just like, it has like it's, saloon it's music. Just, it's them, them too, and it just looks like a fucking Charlie Chaplin fucking video. <laughs> and it's like a the plane's like this small, and it's nothing. And now all of a sudden we have these fucking se- what is it seven seven fifty seven seven four so whatever seven thirty seven seven thirty seven fucking Boeing's. I don't know what any of those numbers mean. It's like, hey, what's up? This is a Boeing seven thirty seven. If you this showed is a, a, this is an sh- Airbus, I'm like, what the fuck is an Airbus? If you showed a Wright brother a plane now, and it was like. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, what the fuck is that? It'd be yeah, like, they'd be like, yeah, chill. They'd, be, like, they'd literally scream. They'd be like, what is this fucking demon shit screaming at me? Like, Yo, honestly, it still like destroys my mind that planes are real. Dude, it's so weird. Bro, I it's... flew from Florida to New York in two hours today. How weird is it that you just look out the window and there's just fucking clouds just going right past you? Yeah, the weirdest thing too is when you go up in a plane, you're like, yo, we're just pennying these fucking clouds so hard. Just Dude. ripping through them. Just thinking about how innocent those guys were just trying to start up a thing. And then now you can just hear them like, my ears. When the fucking one comes by, it's like, you start. Because I, I, I want to know, I want to know what model they stopped at. Like when they both died. Let's see. I'll look it up. Like what was the last what model? What was the name of the Wright brothers plane? Because who do you know what they were visionaries? So maybe they did imagine like one day there's gonna be we're gonna fly all over the world. There's gonna be fifty thousand people on one plane. I'm telling you right now. But they never like actually saw it happen. Okay. You know? So the first, their first plane was called the Wright Flyer. Okay. And then it developed into the Wright Flyer Two, the Wright Flyer Three. Damn, they were putting out fire ass sneakers and shit. Damn. Uh, the Wright Flyer Fifty Twos. This airplane, known as the Wright Flyer, sometimes referred to as the Kitty Hawk Flyer, was the product of a sophisticated four-year program of research. Only took four years to come up with a plane? Dude, these dudes were ahead of their time, brother. And developed, conducted by Wilbur. Their names were Wilbur and Orville Wright. Jesus, those are the most racist names I've ever heard in my life. All right, in 1899. They just, like, took off on the first flight. They were like, no blacks. Yeah, like, can a visionary be... I was thinking, like, can a visionary be racist? You know what I mean? But of course they can. Oh, Everybody was racist. racist. Dude, it was 1899. These guys were definitely racist. Well, where are they from? The South? I'll tell you right now where the Wright brothers were from. I mean, with names like that, they were fucking born underneath a barn. Have to. You know what I mean? They, I'll tell you where they were born. They were born... Where were they born? Uh, bah, 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 bah. They were born in Dayton, Ohio. 
I mean, that's not too, that's not, that's Midwest. That's Orville, not... Orville Wright was born and he died of a heart attack at 76. He, damn, he lived to be 76. Wait, so what, what year did he die? 1920 something? Okay, so he died of a heart attack in 1948 on my birthday, January 30th, 1948. What? Motherfucking... Oh, damn. Yeah, he died, and I took flight after that. And then Wilbur Wright, uh, he was born in Indiana in 1867. Definitely racist, probably. Uh, May 30th, he only lived to be 45, and he had something called typhoid fever. Typhoid fever? Yeah, salmonella uh, poisoning. God, people died of the dumbest shit back then. Yeah, so he died from salmonella. But it wasn't dumb back then, obviously, because they didn't know what shit and all this shit was. Jesus, dude. Yo, if you really think about it, you know, we really did used to die off some dumbass shit. Just Where'd he like, eat? Like a fish's ass? Probably ate like some old chicken on a flight, and it was just like, oh, like that's where all the jokes about airline food come from, probably. Fish, fish have assholes, right? Yeah, fish shit. Okay, yeah, they shit. Yeah, they fit, they jizz. Oh, yeah, they do jizz a lot. Yeah, they jizz like, and it's weird. Remember when we watched that video of turtles having sex? Like, eh, it's, eh, eh, eh. fucking, uh, eh. damn. So they, so they both lived uh, a good men then. But I yeah, want to know I mean, what's the last the- they saw planes? Like, they didn't oh, okay. see, but well, they didn't see what we have now. But were they? No, commer- no they, well, they so, must have been. Let's go with the older one. He lived to 1948. Okay, so they saw planes in the war and stuff. Like they saw those planes. Yeah, they got to see those like fighter jets and shit. Right, 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 right. Because I don't know when it when airlines went commercial. Like I don't know when it went commercial flying. Basically, I wonder. Like, do they have a piece of every airplane? I don't know. I feel like that's why I feel like planes were definitely meant to travel, but they I feel like they were also used for fucking war first. So when you he, know when uh, when they were like, man, yes. you know, I never understood though too. It's like how we had like footage of like these wars and shit yeah well because they they probably it's so weird like, that, like maybe bomb fucking the first thing that they today. thought of to do with cameras were like let's send them right into danger johnny yeah and <laughs> i never fucking understood. put them in the middle of a war so. and i never understood too like medics and like <clears throat> in the war right they just wore like a cross on their heads like did you like try to not shoot them well, it was never so the first that weird was rules. that was all over the radio. Imagine turning on the radio and fucking just waiting to hear about fucking Hitler fucking dying and shit. But like, but like, but but this is the thing. I don't think war was televised until Vietnam, right? I think Vietnam was the first real yeah, Vietnam like, was like the first one where you could like turn it on and like seeing it. You weren't hearing like you weren't hearing like oh my god, like you weren't well, there, seeing shit. There were like no censors though. Like you would see like people set on fire and shit. Right, you see that on the news. Right, but back then, all you heard was speeches and stuff. That's it. You're like, oh, we gotta wait for you gotta wait three hours for fucking J- J- uh, fucking uh, fucking uh, fucking Eisenhower's fucking speech or like whatever the fuck you know. Yeah. So Jared went to he was in Dallas. Yeah, and uh, he went to uh, the uh, the book depository. Right. Where um he went to where JFK was shot and like Lee Harvey Oswald like were, like from he went and looked out the window. From Lee where Harvey. he shot. Wait, you are you're allowed to go in there? Yeah, he went in there and like took a picture like from the window, and then there's like an X where like JFK's like head exploded. Why are we so dude? I feel like, like who's gonna enjoy that other than other people who want to kill people? Like See? I feel like I feel like someone would go in there that that really wants to kill people and it's like I just gotta go see it once. And they go up there and they go, they look out the window and they go, nice. <laughs> Like, like, who wants? I don't. I get it's part of history, but who wants to fucking see where he was when he blew someone's brains out like a fucking psycho? See, I would love to see that because it's just such a monumental part of like our history. I, I mean, I would go there, but I don't want to go in the room that he did and feel that fucking weird psycho energy. Like, who nah, gives a fuck? Nah, dude, do listen, bro. Fuck that. If somebody was like, "Yo, do you want to like look out the window that like JFK got shot in?" You probably say, "Yeah, probably." I mean, I just don't care about things like that. I think that there's, I was like, who cares where, who cares where, who cares where this murdering fucking nut was? You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I'm standing right here. Like we humans, in my opinion, we just do weird shit like that. We sell, we, we act like we're not celebrating it, but like we are celebrating it in a way. Like we're, we're, cause you can't talk about him being shot without Lee Hobbs. So like, yeah. And then Jack Ruby shot him. Yeah, and then Jack Ruby yeah, shot him. Honestly, I, I like you know I, I I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like I've never understood. Well, back then you could how we want to be wanted, which is right, kind of crazy. Right. 
but I get it. I get like you're like, oh, damn, this is this is exactly where this should happen because it is a part of history. It is. But it's just imagine like, I don't know, you do this terrible thing and then like you're getting letters. You're like, I stand exactly where you stood. Like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, I, I, I get what you're saying, though, because it's like you're kind of like you can't help but put yourself in the mindset of like this murder yeah, murderer. That's what I mean. Like, imagine being the tour guide there, right? You're like some weird guy came in the other day. You're like, wow, well, he came upstairs and he looked in the window and he just did this for like three minutes. <laughs> like, holding like a fucking gun. Yeah, and they're probably mad dramatic. And he's like, he drew back his weapon. Yeah. So this is where he did it, man. <laughs> like fucking 311 PM. You heard bang. Wow, this so is- that fatal shot was five from here. But that energy has to be imagine something that happened like that. So wild that you actually step into this apartment or wherever the fuck he was or some fucking old woman's kitchen. And then like you just like go. Or what was it? Where was he again? He was because they're, they're so Texas. No, no, no. It was he went from that to a theater house. And then the guy who shot Abraham Lincoln Will Cluth, went from a theater house to a, to an abandoned. Whatever. Yeah warehouse or something i don't know whatever yeah. the fuck it was so i don't know if he went to like a movie house because of that maybe he did i don't know that's where they found him right i think they have recordings of him like telling like shit like they inter- they were able to interview him after he shot jfk but then like he walked out and like jack ruby shot him who was who connected was, to the mob who's connect right which everyone thinks it was mostly like a mob thing like that uh what's his name was hired by the mob to kill jfk yes sir I think that's the um, most reasonable one. The magic bullet theory and all that other stuff is just like. I want to believe in that stuff so bad. Like, I really, really do. Right. But a part of me is just like, listen. How many people have lost their hygiene over thinking over deep stuff? Like That's that? what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, I've had ni- I've had I've lost nights of my life watching videos till six o'clock in the morning, like where I have to be at work two hours later. Right. Because I want to find out like why this like thing like went through this guy and hit this guy and then like hit him like you know and then I saw J- and then I watched JFK the movie and that movie's like seven hours long and I was like you know I kind of get it but I I don't ever want to put myself in a position like that where I'm just constantly going down these conspiracy fucking traps yeah I don't it's know nonsense it's I like just almost think- like when that dude was on Joe Rogan from Blink One Eighty Two yeah. Uh, like that, Tom DeLang or whatever. Yeah, I was like, yo, this dude's fucking had way too many 7 a.m. nights. Right. Yeah. Like he he's very into aliens. I think that's his thing, right? Yeah, I think aliens are real though. God, I'm just thinking about like American people, like or tourists, like going there and then leaving, and they just have like Lee Harvey like t-shirts and stuff. <laughs> like him holding a fucking gun. Like I, I survived. It's like a cartoon. Texas. Yeah, yeah. I survived. Yeah. The thing that's kind of scary about the whole thing, oh, and it's like I, 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 bullet Dallas, Texas instead of I love New York. It's a fucking, like a heart shaped bullet. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. I just, I just oh, think that's... my point is I think we just not celebrate, but I just feel like I guess at the end of the day they're like, well, we should have something. This guy put his life on the line and got assassinated, which I understand that too. Yeah, um, but that's that's one of my favorite things is. Uh, presidents being assassinated. No, one of my favorite things is asking people who were alive, yeah, for um JFK where they were. Right, right, right. Because like that's that's like what we well, asked Dad. Like, remember that Dad was the first person. I think he was like I was in school. Yeah, he literally knows. He he was so serious that they we all were Dad all remember it. They all remember it. I mean, like, who's like, and it's serious. I mean, we're all going to remember where we were during 9 11 and stuff, you know, that that, sh- that day was fucking, that was wild. Yeah. 9 11 is like still not real to me. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's not over 20 years later. Cause when I saw it, I was like, gee, are we in like a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it didn't seem like all that, even when I see videos to this day, it doesn't feel, but it, uh, very obviously it was because we, you know, we related to somebody who was, who died in one of them. But, uh, but yeah, you know, and like on a serious note, like obviously I get why people go there. You know what I mean? That's paying respects to like it's like all it's like the souls that were lost and all and everyone there too, I guess. So so I get yeah, I guess it's like the same, it's just like a memorial thing. At no, the end I, of the day, I, you listen, know? I 100 percent agree with you, and I do understand that it's a little bit creepy to think it's about, a little like, yeah, it's a little morbid, but I mean I but I but then again, now I'm thinking about it from like 9-11's point of view, and I, and I fuck it, you know, I get it. 
Yeah, but that's yeah. It's also like why we watch like horror movies and stuff. Like, I, just, why we, like, I don't, don't want to go to this, like, this. Yeah, like pretend thing where like this guy goes around just stabs a bunch of women in their titties. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't like. We're just, I don't know, it's just like I love horror movies. Like, why? Something's wrong with me. Even serial killer stuff. Like, I feel like I love that shit. Why do we love it so much? Yeah. Why? Like, do, like we're, we're just sick. sitting there. Yeah, and we're like, yes. And then it would yeah. if it, but it happened to us. We'd fucking be terrified. It's screaming for saying. our lives. You want to know what it is? It's never happened to us. And the other thing is, though, too, is that we're as human beings, we're curious about other human beings' brains and how they work. Yes. So that's like why we like to watch that shit. That's that because it is, but it's it, sick, is it is, it is interesting. Oh, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's but it is it getting is, off on like other people's pain. It's very it's strange. Like, and like, that's why, like, when I watch, I try to take it more seriously because I think about all the people that were actually we're so disconnected. We don't think about like the night they went through. You know no. what I mean? And it's just fucked. Like, and then the years of fucking pain they had to deal with. And it's then like so, Netflix, then Netflix makes like an eight part documentary, and then the entire bro. world falls in love with it, and you have yeah. to sit through all of that. And again, I said this before. I just don't think it's good to do so much. Like I fucking I watched. I fucking had like a whole month of just watching fucking terrible shit documentaries. And now I'm like, I don't even want to fucking get an apartment because I've seen too many. Because I'm like, oh, wait a second, 1400 in New York, three bedrooms, and, yeah, I, and, I, and all the utilities are paid for. This guy's going to put me underneath the house after I fucking move in. 100%. Dude. I'm wait like, till I go to sleep and fucking put a fucking little pill in my fucking drink or something. And do weird shit to your body. Um, yeah, let's talk about stuff that does good stuff to your body. And that's our friends over at Liquid IV. Listen, I love Liquid IV. I use Liquid IV every day since I started working out like a madman. All right. Now that I work out like a madman, I have to make sure that my body is hydrated. And the best thing about Liquid IV is they take care of that for me. Um, they help me get a jump start to my day. Uh, I take my Liquid IV in the morning before my morning workout. I get ready to rock and roll, and I will tell you my personal favorite flavor is watermelon. The watermelon uh, liquid IV is outrageous, but they have amazing range of flavors. So they have Concord grape, lemon lime, pina colada, tropical punch. My favorite watermelon, strawberry, uh, passion fruit, guava, acai berry. They got it all, dude. So if you, there's a flavor you like, liquid IV has it. Uh, um, the thing that I love about it the most is that it's super convenient. It's super convenient packaging. I dump it right into my water. Doesn't take that much. Shake it up a little bit. I'm ready to rock and roll. I love, love, love Liquid IV. And here's why you should love Liquid IV too. It has five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. You need all those with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks made with premium ingredients, uh, ingredients non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. What makes Liquid IV so effective? It's its cellular transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. It's on a mission to change the world. And that's what Liquid IV wants to do. For every purchase, they donate a serving to someone in need. To date, Liquid IV has donated over 24 million servings globally. So listen, if you're in the gym getting a little crazy like me, all right, I need you to know that you need to stay hydrated. And did you know that one stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more effectively than water alone? Damn. Now you know. Make sure that you're hydrated. Liquid IV is here for you guys. And this is why I love them, because they're going to take care of you guys as well. You go to... um Get your 25% off. I thought, I thought I read that wrong. I thought it was going to be less, but that's shitload of percent off. 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code LOPS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you shop. Better hydration today using promo code LOPS at liquidiv.com. That's liquidiv.com and use the code LOPS at checkout. Um, Don't wait. Hydrate. God, dude, yo, you're, you've been killing these, bro. You want to know what else I love? I love Manscaped. Boom! Oh, yes, I do too. Manscaped. Listen, see that? I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet, but like, get to the ad clip, like the time that they paid for. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. listen, this is what you guys need to know about Manscaped. I've been using Manscaped for what? I want to say since the Lawnmower 1.0, and we're at the Lawnmower 4.0. 
you guys got to go and get this performance package. It has everything that you need for your downstairs hair. It's the best products on the planet for getting rid of un unwanted hair in your downstairs area. I use it all the time. I could use it in the shower. It has skin safe technology. So you're not getting nicked and cut up. It has a light on it for those tough to reach places. I'm telling you in the lawnmower 4.0 is a, without a doubt, the best testicle and pubic reach trimmer in the world. I have nothing else to say about the lawnmower 4.0. They have the crop preserver, the ball preserver, deodorant. They got it all, dude. They have everything that you need, brother, to keep you clean down there, dude. And if you go now to manscaped.com, brother, and you use the promo code LOPS, dude, you're going to get 20% off and free shipping, dude, off of your entire performance package. Get the performance package. Get it all. They give you a little bag. They give you a little bib. They give you the lawnmower 4.0. They give you a bunch of treats in there, brother. So you have to go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code LOPS, all right? Use the promo code LOPS. Get that 20% off and get that free shipping. You will not, I repeat, you will not regret it one bit. This has made me so much cleaner. I used to have the craziest fucking pube rage. Now I don't because my friends at Manscaped have hooked me up and I've been a Manscaped rider and they've been a low priori rider from the jump. So go to our friends over at manscaped.com, use the promo code LOPS, get that 20% off and that free shipping. But uh, yeah, so listen, I'm, I'm actually going to have a liquid IV in like 10 minutes. Speaking of being good to your body, I have something very interesting here that I thought I try on. I try real quick. Yeah, why not? I went to a import store where there was uh, called Rare Rare Food Exotics or something like that. Okay. Food. Rare Exotics. And uh, there's a lot of random candy and, and chips and stuff imported from like japan and korea and all this shit and i was like what the fuck i want to try some of this stuff and i got this bag it was five dollars and a uh, bag of chips god damn brother because they're imported so i found this one bag of doritos okay when you, when you see this color what do you think what do you think that is that's cool ranch daddy that's cool ranch korean yeah. style right no this korean is actually cool shrimp flavor fucking Whoa. dorito dorito chips if you look on the cover for everyone that's watching the YouTube, which you should, because honestly, guys, it helps us out, get the uh, the uh, the algorithm up, and it gets us looking real good in real life. You know yeah, hit those likes for the algo. <laughs> um, and uh, we got fucking Dorito shrimp flavored. So I was like, you know what? That's wild. The, are these they were real the Doritos. Yeah, these are real Doritos imported, I think, from Korea. Uh, and uh, and if uh, everything there was Korean and Japanese. Um, uh, and then it says on the back, first off, the nutritional facts are on a sticker in English. Oh, God. To make it. But there's pepper, shrimp powder, garlic extract, sodium succinate, red pepper pigment, garlic spice, wheat fiber, and Clorox. No, this is actually from, and then this is from Hudson Toko Trading Company. I don't know what the, oh, that's a trading company. No, that's that's the trading company. I think they just import. So oh, okay, but these, these are, are from, from Korea, Taiwan. Though. Taiwan. They're these Taiwanese. are from Taiwan. I'm gonna just let the the shrimp smell woof woof me right in the face, and then I'm gonna try one of these. What do you What do you think? You think these are gonna be? You think these are gonna be heaters, or you think these are gonna be absolute fucking dog sauce? I think they'll slap. To be honest with you, shrimp's a good flavor. I like. I love shrimp. I love shrimp. High and oh boy. It smells bad. Bro. Oh, man. That doesn't smell very good. It Does it smell like shrimp? It smells like a fucking old, dried up Philadelphia Sea Dock. <laughs> oh, man. That smells nasty. Is there cheese on this? Like cheese powder? Can, can, can you show a chip to the camera? Yeah, they look like right, they kind of look like Seasonedless Cooler Ranch Doritos. There's like all that little like fucking red, white, and blue American powder is missing off of it. 
Is it, is it, are these like chips? Like, you know, like when the they've robbed team, us of our American nationality. What? Yeah, like, are these chips or like, you know, when the lose, like the losing team of the Super Bowl, like they send no shirts to like Africa? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like, these look like the countries in Africa. These like, look are like, these the ones that they like send to Korea because like Americans would hate them? No, these are made in Taiwan. And All then right. they were sent back here. How about you do the lick? This first? looks like somebody licked the Cooler Ranch seasoning off and then put them back in the bag. All right. Now you got to do the lick test. You got to lick it. Lick it first. Lick it first, then chew it. Salty. Okay. Kind of doesn't taste like anything. You don't have a shrimp slap yet? Not yet. All right. I think this is a lie. This is some fucking Taiwanese Houdini shit. Oh god! They don't taste like anything. Us. They don't taste. These just taste like regular ass chips without seasoning. But they, but it smells like an old fisherman's. It smells like a. It smells like a shrimp's fucking asshole in here. Yeah, wonder, that smells like, like shrimp powder in there. Huh? I wonder if there's like dust down there. You want, oh, you want me to see if I can monkeys. get some dust yeah. in here? They don't taste I like think... shrimp. But it just tastes like nothing. Oh wow! Yeah. Here, I'm going to dump these out, see if there's some sauce. I mean, some powder. Yeah, yeah. See, there's a little pow-pow in there. Wow. There's no powder. Oh, wow. They fucked you. That's a gimmick. That's a gimmick. That's a gimmick chip. I think I got fucked. I think I paid for regular fucking Tostito chips for like $5. It's all good. They got you. Do you have any other ones? I do. Those ones taste like... I can eat these all day. They taste like nothing. Yeah, all right. So it sounds like shrimp, shrimp burritos are fire. These are Lay's coming at you uh, for 6%. That looks like sour cream. Yeah, I don't know why it says 6%. I don't know if that means fat, body fat, or like alcohol. Is that French uh, onion? This is, it looks like it's like quiche, quiche flavored. Some of them are weird. They're like baguette flavored and quiche flavored. What the fuck? I don't even know I, what that is. I had garlic baguette flavored sun chips, and they were plain as fuck, but I ate them all. I feel like maybe Asians go light on the seasoning. But that's usually not the case, though. I know. But it smells like a fucking fart, bro. Yeah, that, that looks like a fart. Like oh, it smells like a French cheesy fucking dirty sweat fart. Yo, bro, fucking French onion soup is fucking gross, by the way. I th- maybe that's what this is. That shit is like sweaty cheese. They like drip water out of it. and It's like onions. More flavor on this one? Yeah. These are really good. <laughs> this fucking Korean ass. Or wait, I fuck with those hard. These taste more like them, shrimp. Than, these taste more like shrimp than these do. All right, smell it and tell me like what the what what you're getting. These are Taiwan again. I'm sorry, huh? Taiwan, Taiwanese, Taiwanese, Taiwanese chips. Give it. A I'm getting like a Frenchy, like a. I'm getting almost like a very very weak sour cream and onion. Okay, but enjoyable though. Very okay. So they're better than the shrimp chips. Way better. The shrimp chimps, the shrimp chimps, the shrimp, the shrimp, fried, the shrimp uh, Doritos don't taste like anything. That was very anti okay. I thought they were gonna taste like shit. It smelled like shit when I opened the bag. Yeah, probably. I can't oh, imagine fuck. shrimp in a bag. Do you like your shrimp warm or cold? I like both. I like both too. I, I do prefer a warmer shrimp though. I don't, I love fried shrimp's amazing too. Fried shrimp's so good. Like yeah. when you eat like shrimp in a cocktail, it's like after like seven of them, I feel disgusting. And now I wash it down with Korean apple juice. Crapple juice? Korean apple juice. Nice. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. It's regular apple juice. Oh, damn it. I I'm couldn't see it. I tried to read it. Like, damn, they're pretty good at English. <laughs> Do you have any other chips or is that it? Oh, I have, um, I have Nutella Triscuits. Nutella, no, 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 no. That would be Fuck, dude. Nutella, Nutella Biscuits. You're trying to make me go crazy? Have you ever seen Nutella Biscuits? No. Watch this. Watch the sorcery. This guy's going to make a Nutella Biscuit in front of us. It's going to rock my world. I really hope it rocks my world, too, because this kid usually makes... He's, he's kind of a shady good cook. Like, low-key. But, like... I feel like Michael has tried to learn how to cook more than I have like ever in my life. 
All right. So these are called Nutella biscuits. These okay. are, are these, from are these Taiwan as well? No, these are like fucking Canadian, I believe. They're in French. Okay. It says uh biscuits croquants au coeur en toi. Okay. Keep reading. I can Crocanti biscotti con cuore cremosa de Nutella. Okay. Uh, That's Italian. Biscuit, biscuit with cream. So this is basically, these are what they look like. Mm-hmm. And uh, Nutella, I believe, is a hazelnut. Yes. Spread. Hazelnut right? spread. Now. Toby Bryan used to be the spokesperson. These are great. You open them up. The center is very weak. It's oh, just wow. like a little, a little. Like that's cracked right there. Okay. See that? And you open them up and the Nutella's just in there, bro. All right. Now, when you put that in your mouth, I want the mic to hear that. Oh, my God. That crunch is, that's a great crunch. Now, they're kind of hard, but when we first got them, they were melted. It was even better. Oh, all right. So you had them for a little bit. Yes. These are fucking amazing. It's like the biscuit as well. It's just everything. Dude, Nutella blends, biscuit. Though. Nutella anything. I, I could eat an entire jug of, of fucking Nutella with my bare hands and oh. not even think twice about it. Oh, Remember when Nutella first came out? I think it was yeah, like dude, 2004, like wasn't it? Or like yeah. 2003 or something? Yeah, because I remember Kobe Bryant was on the cover and I was like, can we get this Kobe Bryant butter? And was, he was, really? like, was he what? really? Yeah, he was. He, he used to be on the cover of Nutella and then I think that thing happened in Colorado and they he, got him off. Dude. But I, might be, to, I might be wrong about that. Shout out to Yonkers Ridge Hill Rare Rare Food Exotics or something. We're going. I want to go back there so you and me can do a testing together. Oh, that's what we should do next episode on the podcast. They have, yeah. dude. They yeah, have like yeah, we'll do we'll taste mad weird food. We'll do dude, that. They have like week. fish flavored fucking like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah, fuck yeah. I'll, I'll spend a thousand dollars in there. Like I mean, these asshole. were uh, overall these as uh, like a three because they just tasted like regular chips. These are actually mad good. These Lay's, these uh, Taiwanese. Those. I think that's. I think this is like key. It's like quiche or something like that. That's f- kind of dope, though. Yeah, I don't know. There's a part that says uh, they won't last a week, but I would. But oh, we should go back and get some of these. It just says baked cheese. Ugh. Oh, that's why it has like little cheese like cut on the side of the board. I thought that was quiche. That's just baked cheese. That's just a cheesy chip. I love cheesy chips. Yeah, it's just a cheesy ass chip. Yeah, so we'll we're, we'll do that next week. Then we'll have an entire episode where we're tasting ridiculous foods, just like weird, like Korean Taiwan. Yeah, when I was there, I was like, I would love to share these just with people because no one knows that that store is there. And then we have other people who probably don't have stores like that at all. Nah, like, dude, so. we're gonna go hard in there next week. Oh, God, my stomach must just be like, what the fuck are you doing? I know. I felt that way too. I had a fucking uh, Cuban sandwich before I got on the plane today, and literally, as I stepped on the plane, my shit just went scroll. You're a fucking risk taker. I would never. I I'll eat like crackers, and then that's it. Yo, Cuban a Cuban might be the best sandwich ever. Yeah. Wait, you think so? Yeah, dude. A Cuban sandwich is outrageous. Is a Philly it, cheesesteak a sandwich? Yeah, for sure. Is a chopped cheese a, just a burger mashed up? Or is a chopped cheese a chopped cheese? A chopped cheese is a chopped cheese because I consider a burger to be intact. I had an argument with a friend who thinks it's a it's just a burger, but mashed up and without buns, and that's all it is. You're just eating a burger. Has this person ever lived in the city? Yeah, they were born in the city, so they have had many of chopped cheese. Yeah, many I believe I believe yeah he did have chopped cheese. Yeah, it gave me agita just thinking about eating a chopped cheese right now. Why? Because, like, every time I eat a chopped cheese, I have heartburn for, like, a day and a half after. Yeah, dude. F- you get older. Man, it's so... I, just, I can't process food like I used to, man. I used to be a dumpster. I can't do it anymore, dude. My fucking... <laughs> I, like, shit, like, makes me, like, snore more if I eat it. Like, it's disgusting, bro. Like, I can't... If I eat dairy now, like, I can't breathe. Like, you miss, it's getting old and weird. Do you miss just being a fucking dumpster truck or no? Yeah, I mean... This weekend, I did not eat that well. I should have ate a lot better, but I was away, and I was like, whatever. I'm but, sure you uh, could do have cheat days, like, once in a uh, in a blue moon, and then yeah, just for stop sure. again completely, and then do, go again, you know? It's like, literally after this, like, we're filming this at 1.30 in the morning, like, I'm going right to the gym after, but it's 2, it's 2 a.m. now. Like, I'm going right to the gym after this, take a shower and go to bed. Yeah, get that fucking Cuban flowing through the system. Yeah, I just, I try to do an hour of exercise every day fuck yeah so if i just do an hour of exercise every day i can have days where like i'll eat fucking four rolls of sushi and not give a fuck 
Right. Just you don't know? give a fucking shit. Yeah, I'll just be like, I don't give a fucking shit, dude. I worked out all like seven hours this week of like pretty high intensity shit. I'm gonna eat these fucking four rolls. It's so funny though. I have so many days where I'm like, what are you doing, you fucking loser? Like while you're eating it, but your brain still makes you you just still do it anyway. You should just do like jailhouse workouts. Yeah, I know. Because you know, food after exercising like tastes better. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. But like uh, your body's like kind of like longing for those nutrients and like you make tasty food that's healthy. Yeah. For me, I'm not there yet. You know what I mean? Like I'm still learning like how to do shit like that. Yeah. Like I'm a shake guy. I'm lazy. Like I, I like uh, Selena's sister show me something today that you put a banana on this thing, right? If anybody's watching this on mute, it just looks like I'm jerking someone off. But uh, you put a banana on this stick, right? And there's this little hose in the middle, like a little straw that pulls out the center of the banana. Right. You, you could pump whatever you want into the banana. So you could basically cream pie, banana, vanilla, peanut butter, honey. You could just fucking blow a load in it. That's when you just don't give a you just don't give a fucking shit about anything. Dude, if, if I'm going to get that thing and I'm going to make a Nutella filled banana, I'm going to fucking cum myself. Dude, that sounds I amazing. Might freeze it. I might freeze it. Yeah, you could freeze it too. Make a little fucking Nutella fucking boner delicious. Yeah, a little fucking make a little strap on. A little fucking stiff fucking Nutella banana. You know what's something that I always forget to do too? Like flavored ice cubes. Yes. Like so dumb. Like imagine you like anytime if you make iced tea, just make iced tea ice cubes. So when it Dude, melts, it doesn't honestly, water it down. Honestly, that's a whole nother level where you just get to the point of just not giving an absolute shit. Yeah, that's that's fucking fat fucker. Yeah, it's fine. But it's, but it's creative. You got to give it that. No one's more creative than fat people. Mm -hmm. When it comes to culinary and it comes to cuisine, nobody's more creative than a fat piece of shit. Because one, we know our limits and we're willing to push them. And two, we have no problem getting dirty. What, you know your limits? Now I know my limits. You know, but <laughs> but I'm st I'm still I'm still fat. <laughs> In, in the essence of the world. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm yeah, not yeah, going to be yeah. winning any fucking, like, bodybuilder contest. Right. I'm just not as fat as I used to be. But well, you, you, probably, you, probably could, you probably could. You probably could win one somewhere. Could, you know, I could pull it up. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, more, I'm mostly could, upper body right now. I have to worry, worry about my core a little more. It doesn't have to be. I don't even know. I, like, I don't get why bodybuilding is the only one. There should just be, instead of bodybuilding contests, there should just be body contests. I just love Whoever just has a certain type of body and has the best and has, and has like, you know, the, the one that makes everyone cheer the most, I guess. Yeah. If I had a, then that's another thing I would do. Like I would skinniest do, I would, body boy, biggest body boy. You know what I, I mean? Would, yeah. I'm going to do that next. When like I'll from just make a ton of money, but I'm going to have like a bodybuilding contest for just fat dudes. Yeah, dude. Just have a fucking fat boy contest. That'd be dope, bro. And then and then and then there's skinny boy contests. Like let everyone fucking everyone should be involved. You know yeah, what I mean? Every, every, there's like divisions. There's like jack guys, fat guys. Yeah, dude. You know, I, I don't want to exclude the jack dudes. Who's who's to say that we can't fucking uh you know we can't all have our little contests? Like, you know what I mean? We're all yeah, we're all going yeah. through we're all I going wanna, through some shit at the end of the day. I want to compete. Yeah. You know, it's like, why do I have to join an eating contest if I'm fat? I want to join a fucking bodybuilder contest, dude. Yeah, you could go up like there's a contest where they just like get like a fucking engine that just blows air at you for the skinny guy and whoever's arm snaps first loses. Yeah. Because you're just yeah, skinny dude, and frail and adorable. Speaking of fucking snap, I, I I'd enter that contest. Speaking of like snapped limbs, I walked in on fucking... Uh, Selena's nephew like taking a nap and it looked like fucking neck of Vecna got him. Oh, arms Jesus. And legs were like all over the place. I was like, yo, this kid got Vecna hard. God, if we slept like that now, we would wake up and be in pain for the next three months. Oh my God. You have to I sleep, think... you have to sleep like a fucking board when you're fucking older. Finding a comfortable position to sleep in when you're older is like like finding fifty dollars on the ground. It's like it's so five hundred dollars. It goes up every year. It's like like it's almost like the greatest thing of your entire day is finding the actual position that you're gonna fall asleep in. Dude, finding a fucking it goddamn is the fucking best, dude. dude. Finding a goddamn fucking perfect spot to sit it to like lay down in. 
is like trying to fucking find a missing child from like 1993. <laughs> you know, it's another great feeling too. It's so hard, man. But when you find it, you're like, I always knew it. I always knew it. I always knew you were out there somewhere. <laughs> I knew you were alive still. I knew you were alive. I knew, I knew you, you were out there. I knew you were. I just never gave up. No, um, but seriously, though, it feels fucking great. Like, I, the uh, dude, it, there's been hours where I can't go to sleep because I'm like, nothing's working right now. No. And it's you like, think that's I, a mental, would, though, more. Or do yeah, you think probably? It, but it, in, because you've slept comfortably in that bed before, it's just something's off that night. Something's bothering you. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. The um, stress does definitely, it does get in the way for sure. There are yeah, those because, nights. Because, like, stress, like, tightens your muscles and shit. And you strain. Yeah. That's, true. Yeah, that's, that's like, probably true. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I mean, it definitely other, does that, but that's probably what, what you're saying is probably true because it's like, why doesn't this spot that I usually have feel the way that it did last time, last night? I know. And why do I have to when, do something new now? That's when you start the mental gymnastics. Dude, that, the other thing I love, though, is like, um, you know, like in the summertime where it's like 1.30 in the afternoon and like the air conditioning is perfect and there's like some birds chirping outside and you get that fucking nap in, dog. Right. Oh, it smells my like God. A, sorry, it smells like a fucking shrimp fiesta in here. Um, Sorry, go ahead. What would you say again? When you, when no, you, uh, just like when you find that perfect, that perfect nap weather, like perfect nap. Oh, yeah, dude. And just outside you see like little fucking birds just like... <laughs> And yeah, yeah, like so yeah. Calm yeah 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 everything's calm yeah yeah the windows are, open you get the that breeze open, you smack that your little breeze, neck dude and like the weather inside is perfect dude, heavenly resting oh dude I, i've had I, yeah. like there's three naps that literally come to my mind every time and i was like these are the three greatest naps of my entire I, life i'm a huge fucking white noise fan sleeper guy yeah you yeah so, you're a big so, fan guy so when that weather is like that when that day's like that and then the fans hitting you too and you just uh, hear that i'm just like oh my god i'm about to go to sleep for fucking i'm about to fucking be in a coma after this yeah it's like you fell asleep on the beach yeah it's literally like but without uh, the sand without the, the fucking sand. penis hole dude i went to the beach this weekend dude i love the fucking beach bro yeah beach in florida's gotta be great it's the only place in america that has a tropical climate so fucking goddamn it's got to be so much more nicer than like uh like the beaches in new york are fucking disgusting it's yeah, like fucking it's like fucking used pregnancy tests floating by your head and shit <laughs> fucking, that are like probably yours yeah that are probably yeah yeah and then there's like <laughs> and then there's fucking and then like the seashells are like fucking broken shards of corona bottles yeah and like for some reason like the cigarettes in the ocean are like still lit yeah i don't know like i don't know how it works it's like such a new york shit yeah yeah it's like a newport flies into your mouth and you yeah. can like still hit it yeah the seaweeds like someone's weave that came off yeah <laughs> That's 100% what a New York beach is, dude. Dude, New York beaches are fucking gross, but they're yeah. mad fun, though. Instead of shells, it's like actual, like, like bullet shells. Yeah, it's like actual, like, bullet fucking, uh, like yeah. Put it, put it up to your ear and you can hear gunshots. Yeah, yeah. Every, and the crabs there know how to speak, like, Dominican and shit. All the crabs <laughs> are Dominican, bro. Yeah, they're mad, they're mad. <laughs> they're all, and they're all named, like, Luis. We, we literally have a beach, guys, in New York called Orchard Beach, and it, the nickname is fucking Chocha Beach. Yeah. Which is, that, I think, which is, which is like a nickname for vagina, right, in Hispanic? Yeah. Yeah. In Hispanic. And then also we have, in Hispanic, <laughs> uh, also we have, uh, we have, like, these weird beaches where, like, you can't go all the way out. Wait, I thought mo a lot of beaches are like that. No, no is no, that no, a safety no, precaution? Like, no, no, but it's like you you can't go out like seven feet. Right, like you, can only, like you can only go up to your knees. Oh, uh, I, I see what you're saying. I was like, Jesus Christ, fucking get a load of Tom Hanks over here, dude. There was this nothing. Guys like, trying to go to the fucking middle of the middle of nowhere in the ocean, bro. It used to be scary though. Sometimes like going far yeah. out in the ocean because you. Cause yeah. you it's alive almost. We you all know? have we all you know the crazy I said it today in and when I was in the water at the beach, I was like, Yeah, like if this shit wanted to, it could kill all of us. Yeah, but that's the, but that's like but it chooses but it chooses to be nice. Well, it's all natural and doing its own thing, but once something gets <sighs> little like if we lose one screw in the whole fucking uh natural balance that we have going on like we're gonna i mean we're it's i guess it's apparently already happening but bro if if 
<clears throat> if the earth like skipped one rotation, we'd all be dead. Dude, I just thought about this. I do not want to be alive when that shit goes down. That's nah, just scary. Fuck, like, dude. dude, fucking sea level going up to like the Empire State Building and shit, like the top of it. Like, I'd fuck ra- that. I'd, I'd rather be stabbed to death than, than have to live through the end of the earth. Dude, day after tomorrow, that movie scares the shit out of me. Dude, that other fucking movie that they put out with uh, Jonah Hill and Leonardo DiCaprio, like up there or whatever that shit is. Oh, where something's gonna hit the earth and shit. Yeah, dude. Like an the fucking yeah. ending of that shit is fucking freaky as fuck. Bro. Oh it yeah, it was scary. wild. It was. I I, I kind of like that el- that ending because like in all those movies, like the world gets saved. Yeah, just, well, like, nah, we're like, we're either fucked or maybe maybe someone will. I mean, I just saw. I I haven't. You maybe want to look this up real quick. Uh, James Webb, his uh the. The uh, satellite or whatever took some good, awesome pictures apparently recently. I don't know what of. I think they're going to show more tomorrow, uh, technically, or later today because it's late here. But uh, apparently this guy, I mean, this guy, the James Webb, like uh, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, what the hell's wrong with me? Microscope or whatever the fuck you call it. Not microscope. Yeah, it's a James telescope. Webb, James Webb Space Telescope. Mm-hmm. Microscope. Telescope. Yeah. Microscopes are cool too. God damn, dude, this shit looks like a kaleidoscope. Yeah, like apparently it took some wild pictures and everyone. Humanity's just... deepest view into space with new image. God damn, dude, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's. Think about this shit. This is the highest sober question I could think of, but like all this shit that's going on, like what the fuck is the goddamn point? <laughs> Like, oh, dude, just admit, yeah, if you really think about like what we mean to the universe, it's just it's nothing. You're like, what this, is f- why I, this is why I tell people create your own planets. And like by create your own <laughs> no, no, but listen, this is what I mean by create your own planet, right? Like create your own world, dude. Like, don't let other shit bother you. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, don't let other shit bother you, dude. Create your own universe. <laughs> just like don't. <laughs> Yo, I'm just <laughs> laughing because it was just that was like the most like <laughs> dumb Trump shit you've ever said. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm just hey, telling y'all, we're gonna create our create own your planet. own fucking planets, man. <laughs> oh, right. Listen, brother, these what? shades don't these shades don't help when you're telling somebody to create their own planet. That's what I not. tell people all the time, man. <laughs> create your own you, planets, man. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I love these shades. They're from our friends over at Shady no, Rays. They're fire. Um, They're very I fire. love these sunglasses. That was the most Kanye shit you ever said, though, I think. No, I, I'm being serious, though, when I say that. It's like, create your own fucking, like, culture. Like, create your own fucking humanity. Oh, I see what you mean. And shit. I see what you mean. Because, like, yeah, like, outside of, like, the family that, like, you have, like, when I have kids, I'm only like, going to live in the universe that, like, me and my children live in. Like, I'm not going to live in the universe. Like, outside Why does this sound it? like the beginning of the speech to a fucking neo-Nazi? <laughs> It does. It does sound a little racist. But what I'm saying is, is like, I, I'm just going to be like, you know, like whatever school they go to is going to be part of my universe. Right. No, I know. I'm going to stop shitting on your on your point because no, I, no, I, 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 mean, I get what you mean. It's, it's like mean, it sounds utterly ridiculous. I, I would be I'd be laughing harder than you, to be honest. No, It's just the way you presented it was was funny. Yeah, dude. Like, yo, this is just like Planet Danny. Like, this is the only thing that exists. And it's like we have like NPCs and shit that like walk around with us and shit. Cause I used to, I used to go outside and look at people walking around. I'm like, yo, this person has a completely different planet than me. Like different friends, like a, like a mental planet, family. right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like mental planets. People are going to think I'm losing my mind, <laughs> but, but I just want people to know, like, this is what guys, this is why you don't go to visit Florida. I told you, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. This is why you don't go to 7 11 or 4 AM. This is what you guys have to understand. At some point we're going to start seeing things. <laughs> Like these images through these telescopes, they're gonna oh, make yeah, yeah, feel yeah. so insignificant. I already, I already that, do. That man. We're gonna go to the point where we're like, yo, like, what's the point, dude? I can't look up at the sky for more than fucking one minute without having a panic attack, bro. And it's like weird, like shit that we just accept, like wind. Like we're like, oh, it's windy. I'm like, yo, like someone's doing that. That's crazy. You know what? The other movie is just flowing wind in my face. I know. It's just like, dude. At any point. The sun could just go fuck you and just yeah, fucking dude. flame all of us. The sun, and I wonder if the sun has ever been close. Like, yo, today's the day. Like, I can't stand this shit anymore, bro. You, you imagine how hot that thing is. It's like a million fucking miles away, and it's still look what it did to. 
Yeah, the sun is so far look away. What did look, at, look at it. It, it, it could kill me. The sun could kill you, dude. Kill you? It'll do more than that. It'll fucking turn you into dust. It'll turn you into dust. And then it'll you know, if it was you. like a well, didn't they say if it was like a mile closer, we'd be fucked or something like that, dude? It's like something astronomically smaller than that. If this is the sun and this is you and you're right next to it, bro, you would literally, you wouldn't even like, you wouldn't even you, burst. Be in the flames. Yeah, yeah, you would just be dust. I mean, yeah, you would like, uh, like turn into light. Dude, think about that. Like sometimes I think about be if you could get close to the sun, it's just this fucking star that's just like <laughs> doing mad shit and just fucking and just fucking sitting there like, <laughs> yeah, and, like <laughs> and, then, and then we used to like make fun of people like like fucking Mayans and the Aztecs or whatever that like used to like pray to the sun. Like that's what we need to pray to because we don't want that motherfucker to get mad at us. I just watch you gotta watch the, the sun is the sun is the ill god. Like he could just fucking ruin us. There's this uh, show the right now, shit. like une- unexplained like places and stuff, and and uh, William Shatner does it, and he's fucking hilarious. I can't take it seriously when he talks because he's just like, uh, they're like, uh, is there is there is it science or is it something else? <laughs> it's like he's just so funny. One of those, but crazy. they William they Shatner's this- one of those celebrities. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But William Shatner is one of those celebrities that I constantly think has died already. Yeah, I like he's definitely still alive. It's so weird. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, I thought he was dead. He looks like a bug or some shit. It's weird. But uh, yeah, no, they were huge. They there's this guy. I forgot. I don't know if he was like English or where it is. He's this white dude though, and he was going around telling people that he found the secret to how. Uh, Egyptians built the pyramids perfectly and oh, how they yeah, still stand yeah. and stuff and how they used to build. And uh, he didn't, he told people some ways, but he didn't tell them all the ways. And it's weird shit with magnetism. And he built this park that no one has ever been able to explain or, or like this like little like backyard area that no one's been able to explain or replicate because he was doing, he was like moving like, 20,000 pound boulders and then putting them like nicely on top of like a little like thin fucking pe- sheet of stone. All right. Well, and then, like, I have to see this. And then shaves us all this other stuff. Yeah. You got to watch it. And he, there's like, they're saying that he told most of them stuff about magnetism and, and certain instruments that he used. And his stuff is still up there, like some of the instruments. But there was like one thing that no one could figure out, like that he just still hasn't said. And it's about magnetism and like balancing it in the right way and shit. And you could fucking lift shit with like your fucking with like the guy weighed like my my size and he was like lifting and moving like 30,000 fucking stone pound dude, no stones fucking way yeah dude and and he what's his name I, I don't know the guy's name but uh it's on it's on unexplained uh episodes it's like the first one on netflix and small white dude yeah and he did it all, all right, by himself I have, I have to watch this he did like it all by himself right after this now imagine a bunch of like gym. but the thing is is how the fuck who was smart enough back then to know how to do that that's the part that's crazy. Like they were just in touch with like the earth more. But uh, physicists and real people think that this guy definitely had the answer, but he like left out like one thing and just wouldn't tell anyone before he died. And there was this I wouldn't, weird, I wouldn't fucking there was tell this, anybody either. There's this weird that thing shit. that he used to use at the top of like a fucking uh, like one of his like, you know, lifting things. It was right. like a black box. What a nasty freak. And, this and no one amazing. knew and no one knows was it in the black box because it was like mm. empty. But they think that he put like some fucking core like magnet thing in it and just it helped move all the stuff. And you got to see this place. He built it all by himself. Tony Stark. It's wild. Yeah, it's super, super wild. And I don't know why you wouldn't just tell people. I guess maybe he thought that the world wasn't ready to actually know. Yeah, it's probably some it's probably some lost art that I don't. But he apparently they think he figured it out and it's weird. And no one's been able to replicate Replicate it or try or build anything like him because there's people who study the guy like he has a book out about how he how he did it but he didn't tell everyone like everything he left like a few things out they said oh, i have to fucking read this book now too i love shit like this isn't it isn't that fucking wild but yeah, i guess because, he just figured it out because that's the one thing i've said to myself every time i've seen the pyramids i'm like how the fuck did they do this this doesn't make any sense and, then and the, like, the very they, last one imagine going made, like, all the way up there the for Jews one more you know what i'm saying so you ever see that Family Guy joke when uh, it's it's like two Jewish guys building the pyramids? No, like I don't a, really watch Family Guy like that. 
And he's like, well, us Jews are getting our suffering out early. From here on out, smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking it's true, though. <laughs> no, because they did it back then. He was like, we're getting our suffering out now. And then the Holocaust. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. It's, tr- it's true, though. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, dude. I, the, I need to watch this guy now. Um, I did watch one thing before this. So, like, uh, shout out to my buddy, uh, uh, comedian of cinema, uh, comedian of cinema. If you don't follow him on Instagram, he's a great follow, uh, especially if you're a cinephile movie nerd. Um, he gives me a movie to watch a week, and I w- I just watched this movie called Hide and Seek. Okay, where this girl marries into this family that at the end of the wedding you have to go down and pick a car to play a game. And she, oh, I already saw that. And she, yeah, and she picks hide and seek, and like they have to like hunt her until daylight. I don't want yeah, to spoil it, it, but you guys should check it out. Yeah, it was I pretty it good. Was good. It, was de- it was definitely one of those movies that's bad, but it was good though. Yeah, like it's so it's like so on the nose that it was good. Yeah, it was it was really really good. Yeah. I watched. Uh, I believe I watched that uh, because people in my chat recommended it like a long time ago because we watched like really shitty movies. You should watch that movie with Gary Busey where he where he dies and then his blood goes into a fucking uh, like like cookie dough and then becomes a fucking killer fucking cookie and goes around killing people. He's like, you fucking bitch. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Anything with Gary Busey. I'm going to watch. Do you remember his reality? It's called, show? Uh, it's, called it's called Ginger Dead Man or something. Like Ginger Dead Man. All right. I have to yeah, check that out. It's hilarious. You guys ever go on YouTube, watch Gary Busey's fucking uh, reality show. It's amazing. Yeah. Where he's like, where he's where he's just like, uh, he just says things that are so weird. He's like, I like to find out. He's like, uh, he's like, went to a Native American uh, burial ground and rubbed blood deer all over my face. <laughs> he says weird shit. He's like, he, he goes to see him and he's just like walking on this fucking thing that if he fell from, he would die immediately. And he's like, Gary, get down. He's like, no, it's like, if the universe wants to take me, I'll fall, but it's not my time. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this fucking guy's a maniac. But like, he got into like car accident, his brain got a motorcycle accident. So you hear that? Church bells. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking about, bro? So such a weird guy. Like, wait, wait, wait. hear that? Hear that? It's a Native American widow crying. Yeah, yeah, it's like so weird. He just, he's always, he's just always saying weird things. He's like. He's like, back then, you know, they used to break a baby's spine and rip it out of its back and use it to clean its their teeth. <laughs> shit like that. He's like, like, what the fuck are you talking? And then it'll be like, that's what I want to do with you. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> you know, Native Americans, they raised strong babies. They had circuses of strong babies. <laughs> they, they had them. And of in front of. They had circuses of strong babies doing cartwheels and push-ups and fucking... Uh, uh, speaking to um, the moon and channeling moon energy, <laughs> like he, it reminds me of like uh, Alex Jones a little bit. He has a he has a rain stick, like a Native American rain stick. Oh uh, yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. Doing it back and forth, and he's like, oh, like what's in that? He's like, what's making that noise? He goes, rain. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, don't touch any of my stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, so speaking of like where we come from, we were talking about like Egyptians and shit. So I had mom and dad send me their 23 and me's. I just want to go over them really quick. Uh, mom is 67% European. Um, with 64% being Southern European, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, she has 1% uh, Ashkenazi Jew in her. So we're Jewish. Um, she's 16% African. Uh, yeah, we're, all, we're, all, we're all African. Yeah, she's 16% West, West African. And 10% uh, indigenous. So she's 26%. That's what, like, uh, whatever. And then um, the the other 4%. So she's 30% African, indigenous, and North African. And Western Asian. Fire. So I'm so happy to know that I'm black now. So that works for me. I'm going to take that. I wish I knew that when I was signing up for colleges. It would affirmative action my ass. I would have loved that. Oh, we're doing those jokes? Affirmative, affirmative action jokes? <laughs> 100%. Remember when, like, Harvard, like, affirmative action do? They were like, oh, he's brown. You want to go to Harvard? 
I don't, I do not remember that. When they like came to the high school, I don't. I literally don't. I don't even know. I don't know what you're talking. I literally don't know what you're talking about. You never know what I'm talking about. You remember the weird shit though. I I just remember like schools would come and like set up like little like tents and shit, and then they would have like a like yeah, I, like sign up for school. Yeah, and some dude from Harvard talked to you. Did I get discriminated? To be honest, every other discrimination I've ever had was blocked out by kids calling us racist names when we were in fifth grade. That's what I did. I'm trying to tell you. Harvard wanted you big bad. Because you were like the only brown person that walked through the hallway. Well, I probably would have. Uh, I probably would have. Um, just. uh met all their expectations because I would have just went around selling weed and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Hispanic guy is just selling weed all over campus. This guy's selling more weed. God but, damn it. Why do we do this? And Harvard's like, he's expressing himself. <laughs> you guys don't know about it because you're racist. <laughs> we, want him, we want him to come to our school. We could teach him. Dude, I do remember though, like, yeah. Wait, 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 was that, wait, wait, where was that? At Westchester County? No, no, this is high school. At, uh, that was at uh, Hastings High School. Oh shit! Oh, in the in the uh, yeah in the gym, right? Yeah. What were those days? Was that college day or something? What was and that called? Mom, and then mom, for some reason, thought like you were going to be able to get into Harvard. I'm not saying that you can't, but you know. No, 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 no. Honestly, I don't think I could. <laughs> I don't think I could. No. There, the, you, well, first you off, the, to, it's the money. You need a lot of money to go there too, right? Unless they give you like a, a, like no, a scholarship or something. That's what they would have. That's what they would have done. Affirmative action. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that shit. And then dad is. Uh, sure, mom was like, "Go ahead, get in the line." I'm like, hell no, I want to go to community college. I want to fucking smoke weed in thirteenth grade. Dad's dad shit has like no African at all. Yeah, what is dad? What is he's, dad? He's ninety point seven percent. Uh, Italian. European, right? He's ninety point four percent Southern European. Okay, and then he has eighty nine percent Italian. Jesus, and then he has point nine Greek and Balkan, which is probably like damn, you know, we're Greek a little bit, bro. At point, uh, he's zero point nine percent Greek and Balkan, dude. We are Greek, Black, Hispanic gods. Yo, this yo, his genes are Italian. Fuck, dude. And then, and then it's broadly Southern European. There's nothing of any of that on dads. I, feel I think like he has, should like, be bigger. I I would have thought so <laughs> because dad dad is dad's like part Neanderthal, and you know He's Neanderthal huge. has big ass dicks, dude. Dude, huge dongs. Dad's big, big man. Dude. Dad's a big dude. He also has a rocket, though. Mom told me. If, if which, which isn't traumatizing at all that, to know that my dad has a rocket attached to him. No, we've seen it so many times when he comes out of the shower. Oh my god, that uncircumcised rocket. Yeah, I would do like that nervous, like you would come in because you didn't know, and he would oh. he'd be wiping his face and his dong is still showing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he'd be like no, the, the what's, up, what's up? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's up? Yeah. What's up? Dad's what's up? Like you know he's nervous as fuck. Oh, yeah. I saw his huge dong. Yeah, no, the only uh, the only African he has in him is like Cyprus and Egypt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, I always forget that Egypt is in a, is is African. Yeah. Is in, is in is part of Africa. Big ass fucking part of it. The thing is is that there are a lot of Egyptians that don't accept they won't say that they are though. Yeah, of course, of course, cuz they're racist. But a lot or or yeah, whatever whatever they grew up whatever it is that's making them but there are because I literally met one of them who was like, I'm not African. I, I was, was like, like yeah, I was like, geez, I was just saying where it is on the map, man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, a, and it's a big ass part of the map. Uh, this is why, like, I, you know, whenever whenever someone comes up to like something, I, I try to say something like I remember from high school, and then I just sound like a, I, and then they just make me sound like a fucking. Man. They're like, no, not really. I was like, all right, my bad. Sorry, yeah. I just never say anything again. Yeah, like me, like four minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, when I said the the Harvard people wanted you to go. Oh uh, yeah, it's a fucking uh, yeah. Yeah, I really don't even remember. I don't remember that. Yeah, because I wouldn't remember it either. Because mom made it a big deal. You didn't. You're like, I don't give a fuck. 
Yeah, I literally probably was like, I want to go to community college and have sex with one of my teachers. Yep. <laughs> or have sex with one of your best friend's moms, like Zach Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think we can wrap this one up. No. Not yet. <laughs> you want to know why? Why? Because we got a tier list to do. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the tier list. 2,000 singers. What 2000s. time is it right now? What time is it? It's 2.30 in the morning. How many people do we have? Yeah, let me check it. Because if anything, we could do it like later this week for like a Patreon. Or nah, we got to bang it out. We got to do it. We got to do it for the. We got to do it for the squad. Let me see. God, my sunburn is so bad. <laughs> okay, those glasses are fire. These ones? Yeah, they look really good on your face. Thank you, dude. Uh, Warby Parker. They like fit your head like perfectly. Yeah, well, when whenever you get glasses, you have to go back into the store wherever you got them and have them readjusted for your face because it's never right. Right, but they don't have... Do they have those little plastic thingies in the middle? No. It just... Flush. I don't know. Dude, I got a big-ass nose. You think those things would just... The bridge, would it would just stick on, but they don't. No, nah, you got to get the ones... Uh, I, I get... Uh, you probably have a low bridge nose. Ah, uh, yeah. So you see why mine, mine go down here? Like they still kind of look good because I have a low bridge nose. But my nose is very low bridge. But no, I'm teasing you. We can we can literally uh we could we could save it for the next one. We won't even tell them what it is. We'll just save it for another one. Um, we'll save it. We'll save it for the next one because you've been fucking traveling all the way back and forth. I was just fucking with you. All right. You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We'll do this another day this week for Patreon exclusive. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, we got to start. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we yeah. got to fucking set that up too. Because, but the, we the, also the, what I, the patrons deserve some new episodes. What I want to do with Danny, since I don't leave the house, even though I actually have been lately, it's been awesome. Went on a big date two days in a row with my lady. It was fucking fun. Um, but uh, what I want to do with Danny, guys, um, I ran it by Danny, and Danny said he's down. Um, me and Danny want to have a PGA golf match. Uh, not in real life. That would be fucking sick. But I don't think we're rich enough to do that. No. Uh, we could go mini golf. Would be fire though. Not even, not even rich enough. We're not good enough. There is a mini golf place near me. But yeah, no, we uh, we're gonna try to get some PGA. We're gonna have a, a making our own characters. Yeah, as long dream. as I can be a woman. And then uh, yeah, you should be a woman. I'll be a woman, and I'll be a goddamn. You can be whatever you want in that game. You can be a circus clown. If you want. That'd be awesome. Uh, but yeah, me and Danny are gonna do a PGA match, which I think would be a lot of fun. We're gonna make our own characters, name them, uh, and you know, you guys can uh, maybe we'll make a maybe we'll make like little friendly fun bets that aren't too crazy or something like that. That's I mean, fine. Like, I'm cool with that. Maybe I gotta wear like uh, something on my nipples. Or did you know or, there's a store in Greenwich Street, New York, called Michelle Lopriori? Yeah, mom sent me a picture with the owner, one of like the creator of it. I'm gonna have to go there one day. They they only sell women's things though. No, there's no man stuff. Yeah, I've literally been that was brought to my attention. Like honestly, like oh, fuck, what was the first time I heard? Like 2015 or something. Like if they make, because I wear a size 10, it would just have to be a big ass bitch shoe. Right. But I'm like, yo, I'm just wearing like. Michelle, Lopez what is it though? Is it just shoes? I think it's like shoes and purses or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. It's like boots. They have like Chelsea but boots and shit that I would have actually. The owner's name is Michael. That's what I'm saying. His name is Michael Lopriore and he sells like $400 boots. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. God, could have been me, but I didn't go to Harvard. His logo is kind of fire too. It says Michelle Lopriori Milano. Yeah. Motherfucker's name is Michelle. Yeah, these are fire. But anyway, let's get to the patrons. Um, yeah, so you know we'll do the we'll do the tier later this week, and then we'll post on the Patreon exclusive for those fours. I love them. I love our Patreon. Um, speaking of amazing patrons, if you want to be a producer of the show, you have to join the fifty dollars and twenty five dollar group. The fifty dollar tier gets your name read first. And thank you, my friends, our friend Allison Meta, David Simpson, Lynn Spees. Big Mo, Moises Sandoval, Nicole Derelou, Radar Taylor, Ryan Blake, The Real Pachu, Puerto Rican Pikachu, Turbo Chubbs, Bessie, Carmen Julia Fisher, Louis Dreyfus, Kelo K. Diggs, Tristan Nelson, Alessandra, Camro Boats, Chantrell Mayer, Corbin, Damn That's Dub, 
Franco Safalu. I love you, Pedro. It's me, Nikki, Jacob Conway, John Kaminskis, Joseph Arsenal, Linda from Accounting, Maximilian Vasquez, Mike Catastrophe, Neely Thomas, PATN, Paolo Xavier, Rico Reyes, T Tay Roto, got it, Trevor Joyner, Vanessa Pineda, uh, Pineda, Vanessa Pineda, and Young Mercs. Drink your juice. That's it. Uh, and then, uh, Michael, where can they find you on the internet, bud? Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Danny LaPriori69. Got it. Love that. That's mine. Uh, my name is Danny LaPriori. Um, you can find me at Danny LaPriori everywhere. Um, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And then also you could uh, come see me perform live. There's not many tickets left, but if you hear this and you want to come, New York City, 9.30 p.m., Caroline's on Broadway, August 11th. Uh, the 7 o'clock show is sold out. The 9.30 still has a few tickets left over. So if you want to come and see me live, come and see me live. And other than that, we love you. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And we are out of here. Aliens are real. Yeah, that too.